The single biggest question I get from you guys is, how do I get more customers for my business? And I have talked about this a bunch, but we just had a pretty cool experience that I'm going to tell you about. Uh, and this is one of the best forms of lead generation for any business, but one that really we don't talk that much about. But before we get into that, my buddy Aaron Parker is giving a free web class tonight at 8 p.m. on how he scaled his business from zero dollars. Like this dude was actually broke, living in a van down by his river, no money, horrible divorce, bad situation. And he grew it to weigh over $250,000 per year. He's going to share a bunch of things that can help your business out, how to get customers, how to rank on Google fast. So check it out. APM tonight, link in the comment section and the description below. So the story that I wanted to share with you guys happened earlier this year. Uh, we had cleaned a house in a driveway for a customer. Now they had called to get a price just on the house wash, but I sent them over an options estimate from quote IQ, like I always do, hoping that they see some of the additional services we offered and would want to go ahead and add some on. So instead of instantly accepting, they replied back that the house wash was a little bit more than they had anticipated spending at the time. And they also told me that they usually pressure wash their house and their driveway once a year themselves. And it usually takes them an entire weekend to complete the work, but they were putting their house on the market and they needed to get it done quickly. So of course I assured them that the price was more than fair, shop around, get some other prices. Uh, I also told them that we could get it done quickly for them and they would be super happy with the results and even happier that they weren't wasting an entire weekend outside pressure washing. Now real quick, while I'm thinking about it, I wanted to try a little experiment and I need your help. So please pause this video, like this video, leave a comment on this video, anything that you want, please and thank you. Okay, so I also made the mistake of telling these folks that with our professional grade equipment, it would only take a few hours to complete this job. And of course, they were very skeptical because it did take them a whole weekend to do. And the reason that I said that this was a mistake to say how long it took is because they also told me that it took them all weekend. Like I said, they were uh, a little bit iffy on the price. And when people have a time frame in their heads for what it should take or what they think it should take a price to compare it to, then see how long it actually takes a professional company to do it. Then they might start rethinking the price, think we're taking advantage of them, but that is for another video entirely. So regardless, we got out there, we got started, we knocked out the house, super fast, super clean. It looked beautiful. Then I get a call. They asked me if Mac could knock out the driveway while he was there. Now I'm guessing what happened was they were going to do it themselves. They were going to save a couple bucks. They saw it on the options estimate and they saw the work we did, the speed at which we did it and figured their time was worth way more than what we had quoted them to clean their driveway. So we went ahead, we knocked it out for them. Again, it looked great. Everyone was happy. And also if you're interested in starting your own wash business, check this out. We put together the most intensive training the industry has ever seen. Over six hours of in-depth training on the best methods for cleaning houses, roofs, driveways, and every other surface you might encounter on a residential job site. How to wash covers, the chemicals to use, how to mix them, the equipment, the best methods to make you the most efficient and profitable you can be. Safety and property protection, specialty chemicals, as well as pro tips, and so much more. How to wash is less than the price of one house wash, so don't wait. Click the link below. All right, anyway, like I said, we completed the job. Uh, they were happy. Uh, we sent over the invoice. They paid the invoice online and they also gave Mac a really nice tip. And this is when something strange happened, something that doesn't always happen, but we always hope that it does. Something that people always say that they're going to do and very seldom do. Something people use to try to barter with, try to get a better price with, and I'm sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. So a couple days go by and my phone starts ringing off the hook. The messages are coming in and these customers, the ones who always did it themselves, the ones who really didn't like the price at first, the ones who were going to clean their own driveway to save some money. The same customers who added on the driveway cleaning, well, those customers, they went out of their way to recommend my business to all of their friends and all of their family. Now, that happens sometimes, but nothing like this. In total, they got us an additional 10 jobs on top of what we did for them. And I am quite sure that this is not just a one-time thing. These people will hopefully be repeat customers, increasing that lifetime value of that customer because we do great work. We've got systems in place with Quote IQ to email them forever, remind them who we are and what we do, offer specials, ask for reviews, all of the things that we've got in our regular email automation that all of our customers are put in. And that was the point of the video. People ask me all the time in the comments how I get more pressure washing jobs. Well, this is a prime example of how word of mouth is one of the best ways to grow your business. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take this information, implement it in your own business. Don't just watch, implement. Don't forget to sign up for the free web class, get how to wash. And of course, if you need a way to keep track of customers, send estimates, invoices, and collect payments, go download Quote IQ. It is on the Apple. It is on the Google Play Store. And you can also get it at myquoteiq.com. 50% off for your first three months. Hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a great day.
Do you have a service business that slows down in the winter? You ever get worried about how you're going to stay busy and make money in the off season? Our Christmas lighting boot camp may be the answer. What's great is if you have a ladder, you're already in business because I know you already have a list of customers that you can call on. We have a ton of information that we've packed into a virtual boot camp. This is going to teach you everything that you need to learn in order to start your Christmas lighting business or add it on to your existing business. We've got Glenn Jernigan. He is a Christmas lighting expert who did over $15,000 his first season, and he's on track to do an excess of $150,000 this this season alone. And the beautiful thing is the lighting season is 36 days long with five days of breakdown and storage. So it's not too late to get started. So if you're interested in learning how to install, how to advertise, how to quote, and how to sell, as well as get access to the private Facebook group and the bootcamp, all you have to do is register below.